Hi guys, hi my people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. My name is Grace Motiria and I post college videos related to nursing, related to college, related to me. Yes, so it's been so long since I posted a video. I know, I know, I know. So today I've decided that I'm going to be doing a cook with me plus life update. That is plus some story time. I'm not sure if I'm really a good storyteller though, you're going to be telling me that so I'm just going to get out of this uniform, it's so late, it's 7.30, I'm from the hospital, I'm so tired But I'm in a good mood, let's get straight into it As the water for girl is boiling, meet my best friend, she's not a shy person This is her, her name is Mbite. Yes, say your name. I just want to remind you guys that I am in my second year. We are in Tuko July. And I'm also, I'm almost, this semester is almost coming to an end because I'm expecting to have my end of semester exams in July. And then on August, we're going to go on a holiday. Then right now I'm in my 2.1. So this is. Is in the network who come for I'm a bad to Jafika mini comrade. So Gali is like um the staple food. <laughs> the staple food of this house of mine. So let's go cook the Ugali now. Yes, I still live as a comrade. I still live like this. Probably the only thing that has changed is that I told you that I don't like putting spices inside my skuma, which whether natural, I just didn't like putting spices. I was so used to putting garlic and tangawizim. Well, guys, a friend of mine taught me how to that I could put ho ho in my skuma wiki. And yes, I'm crying. I'm just from cutting the onions. See you after I cut the ho ho. I feel like I've grown so much over the last couple months, over the last couple weeks. I'm not talking about the body guys, I'm still the same, I'm still thin, I'm not fat. The last semester, one point, the first year, the second semester was so hard on me. I had like 16 units that were supposed to be done during a, a very short period after the clinicals. And um, I didn't perform well, but I didn't get any receipt. And also during that time is when I was experiencing new emotional new emotions have you ever felt something and you felt like well this is new i've never felt something like this before and it was not something advantageous it was so disadvantageous i almost thought that i was going to fall back into depression but one thing about me i'm always going to be a happy baby yes and i always tell myself that um there's always going there's always a reason for things happening and always look for the positive thing in everything. I started going to church. My best friend motivated me. I was not a, I was I'm not a church girl. I was not. I didn't know Christ, but I've started receiving Christ in my life. And something feels so good, so fresh inside me when I say that. Also I've been receiving a lot of support from my family. It smells so good, you guys. I don't know if you can see the the ho ho, but it smells so good, and it's like hmm, this is going to be in sweet skuma wiki. You all, I'm just being grateful that I have food today. You know, mini comrade. Ah, jamini. When you are in KMTC and you're a second year student, they consider you. They call you a senior, and this is where. Hmm, you you just saying that sasa kitakuramba. If you if you're not smart, 
if you're not working smart, if you're not hardworking, if you don't know how to plan yourself, if you just don't know how to live accordingly, yeah, if you really don't have the values that are required to maintain yourself in this college, in this medical life, this is going to be so hard. This is when I'm really telling myself that the passion that I had sometimes drives me so much there's so much content that's supposed to be inside your head and whatever it is that you started during your first day when you came here it's not supposed to escape your mind forever and ever like this is something that as a medical student you are going to notice when you start going for your clinical rotations like me this is my um that rotation this within this period we are in our third rotation and when you go to the hospital there's just a lot of medicines a lot of procedures and you have to have that creative mind that mind that knows how to think critically you just when you so if you have not joined KMTC yet if you want to be a nurse if you want to be a CEO a doctor you just have to check yourself and really really see and think for yourself and ask yourself do I have these qualities am I really going to survive this do I have the passion because sometimes it's so so hard you need a support system you need good friends do you have that your if you don't have friends your family do you have that? Are you strong emotionally inside? For example, like today we lost a patient and I remember I did dressing to that patient yesterday because yesterday I had a shift in the morning and she was so good. She was even asking me, Dr. Tari, he did all day in the end the and her wounds were healing quite well because they were not so bad. They were not gangrenous or as it was in a oza in short, so they were still fresh. And then today I'm entering my afternoon shift and I'm being told that that patient is so sick looking. And you see, if I, I'm not very strong emotionally or if I don't have a strong support, support system with me, I am not going to be able to be taking this kind of news well because it's not only one patient. It's a lot of patients. I've, I've seen patients that I have bonded, bonded with lose their lives or become so sick that um, they are so withdrawn, they can't even talk, or they're on oxygen. Some of them, they go to the ICU, you never see them again. And they, they came in walking, they came in so good looking, they were just diagnosed, but they just continue getting sick and sick. And so we lost this patient, and so I'm like, and the relative is coming to me like, please come check my patient and tell me if he's okay. You see, if I am not emotionally strong, if I had not looked for these values inside of me, I would not be be able to handle the situation well. Yes, we learn about how you can handle these kinds of situations. We learn in class, but you really have to find these values inside of you. And you know, the relative is there. The relative is looking upon you because to him, you are the doctor. You are supposed to know what to do. And this patient has lost their lives. And you are also attached to them. So you cannot start weeping when the relative is weeping. You are supposed to be the support system. And you, if you are not a strong support system, if you don't have a strong support system, you cannot be a support system, a strong support system to others. Just go in class, it's just theory, theory, but you start going through the experiences when you go to the hospital and you just, now you're dead. Now that is when reality is going to hit you like this is what I chose. Every day I go to the hospital, I see something so bizarre. I'm like, this is what I chose. I love my course. I'm passionate about this. And I'm never giving up. I have never loved my course more. I mean, wife materials. In kabisa, kabisa, <laughs> huh? Wife material. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching i know i've probably talked a lot my phone wants to die right now <coughs> <Wife Martin. laughs> 
Yeah, you probably know why I like her now, why she's my best friend. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Oh, don't forget to be happy. No matter what problems, mashida zi shangi. So just be happy. Sawa. Yes, yes.